Hello beautiful people, I'm Duke, and I'm here with something a little different. I decided to drop my hand at vlogging if there's anything that I really, really want to talk about. I don't have a set schedule for these at the moment, and I don't think I ever will. For right now, it's just a case-by-case -case basis. So, for my first vlog, let's talk about cartoons. Or to be more specific, the latest reboot of the Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls originally aired in the 90s and early 2000s, and was met with acclaim. Some even goes as far as saying it's one of the best cartoons out there. So of course, with their popularity the way it was, a reboot was going to happen eventually. When I heard that it was indeed happening, I wasn't the least bit surprised, and I only wished that it would be good in its own rights. Needless to say, I was disappointed it would be gone. The reboot is essentially a neutered version of the original. Comedy-wise, it's not all that funny. It literally just felt like dividers just surfed the internet one day and made a note of a few internet memes and millennial, and millennial slang and thought, Hey, that would make our show look hip and current. That never works. If it did, the Smurfs movie would be a goddamn masterpiece. The show even goes so far as to include a scene where Blossom and Bubbles are twerking. I'm not joking. I won't show the scene though because A, I don't want any copyright problems, and B, your innocent eyes deserve to see better. Even the action scenes feel neutered, which is never good for a show in the action genre. In the original, it was pretty fast paced. Here though, it feels like it goes very slow. Just tell me which sounds better. Throwing a person by the beard and having it take a few seconds, or rapidly punching a monster at ridiculously fast speeds within the span of a few seconds, and finishing off with a punch that sends it flying. The ratio of attacks is like 100 to 1 in favor of the original. Much more exciting in my book. So after watching this reboot, I asked myself this one question. How can anyone botch a property like this without even trying? This got me a bit suspicious, so I did some digging, and I think that there's a method to this madness, to say the least. A conspiracy, if you will. First off, we have three superpowered little girls fighting evil. That's all fine and dandy, nothing suspicious there first. So I decided to dig a little deeper. I then I came across reports saying that the three voice actresses from the original were never contacted at all to appear in the reboot, and three of the show's biggest masterminds, Craig McCracken, Lauren Faust, and Jenny Tartakovsky, were involved in the reboot. And it was there that I found the first pattern. The number three. Three girls, three actresses, and three masterminds. Three instances of the number three. What could this mean? Well, what is three? It's a number, and numbers are used in math. Geometry is an area of math that focuses on angles and shapes, just to name a few things. One of the most well-known theorems in geometry is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And it was there, I found it again. C is the third letter of the alphabet, so there's one instance of number three there. A is the first letter, and B is the second. One plus two equals three. Number three keeps popping up. What could it mean? I looked back on this, and realized that Pythagoras, the one who discovered the Pythagorean theorem, was Greek, so I dug around in that journal. After doing more research, I came across the Cyclops. The Cyclops was the one-eyed giant, and there were three of them according to Greek mythology. Yet again, the number three. It was there that I was stumped, however. What the hell does the Cyclops have to do with the Powerpuff Girls of all things? I thought about it for a second, and I believed at first I was being thrown off. But it turned out not to be the case. I was actually on the right track. Going back to the Pythagorean Theorem, the formula is meant to find the measurement of one side of a triangle if the other side's measurements aren't known, and it was there that I nailed it. The triangle. Triangles have three sides, and the Cyclops has only one eye. One triangle plus one eye equals the Illuminati. Open your eyes, people! This reboot is a plot by the Illuminati to dumb down our kids! Or it could very well be possible that I'm critically insane and need to see a doctor. Felt good, to get, felt good to get that off my chest. I think that's all the time I have for today. I'm gonna call this here. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a beautiful day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get a psych eval.